welcome to another speed sort of slug sluggish run um and this is a 10 minute video where i play people online and i i'm basically trying to teach you how to play better chess at whatever level you are and we're around the 2000 level so we're going to have a look at the things you need to do to improve uh, and also what typical mistakes our opponent makes now I'm going to start off with the Jabava London and I think this is an ideal opening uh, for those of you who uh, don't have a great deal of time on your hands who who, who maybe you know uh, want something simple to play because it's a very simple setup and Ginger Jim's about to bring out Jabava, uh, uh, another Jabava course very very shortly and in that course rather than suggest the standard e3 move which we suggested in the first course uh, we're actually going to be suggesting this move immediately which is a very interesting move we're, we're trying to come in here um, and we're trying to misplace this knight so we might lose a bit of time moving the knight here and moving it back later on but we're trying to misplace this knight so we're also making sure that black is going to lose time uh, as well here. Knight a6 is probably the correct reply here. Uh, I must admit I haven't done any speed run videos for a while. It's because I've been very busy but also because I was so, I was so annoyed by the amount of cheats I'm bloody playing. Um, it's just getting too effing bloody soul destroying. Um, and I got the feeling in the last couple of speed runs I was playing, even though I didn't really say much, the last two or three, that all my opponents were cheating against me. You could just tell, and I was just getting so demoralized. Uh, I mentioned this to a friend of mine, and they're saying, well, it's your fault. You shouldn't call yourself Ginger GM speed run. What do you expect? People are going to cheat when they know they're playing you. Why? What kind of an excuse is that? Oh, I'm playing a Grandmaster. I must cheat, and it's okay. Uh, no. That, it doesn't really work like that. Why should you cheat? You should never cheat. I mean, it's a disgusting habit. Uh, just because you're playing me, it doesn't mean you can cheat. Oh, look, it's the Ginger GM. Let's turn on the stockfish. <laughs> oh, bastards. Anyway, back to the game. Let's not let it get to me. Here, we're still in theory. And um, I know at some point we go here and here. I'm just trying to get the move order. Now, right, do we go here first, then a6, and then here? Or do I play b4 first? So we've got a bit of time to work these things out. Because your whole idea, we want to embarrass this bishop. I think b4 looks very natural. But let's have a look at a4, a6, b4. Takes, and I take here. Okay, let's go b4 first. I, I don't know if this is the right way to play it, but... I certainly looked at this in um, in some detail in my in the course that I'm releasing, but my memory is so bad now. I don't rely on my memory anymore. And as you get older, you'll find this. You have to rely on general principles more. And that's something which a lot of people don't realize actually in chess when they're learning an opening. It's learning what are you trying to do, what are you trying to achieve, all those kind of things. So I'm feeling here that I should probably just bring my knight out. Did I play that right? Should I have gone a4? Maybe I should have gone... We'll have a look after the game, but let's continue developing because I might have to bring this knight back here later on, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, I'm hoping, obviously, a c6, I dive into the position, and in this case, with a cheeky check. Very professional, me having some orange squash, but I'm thirsty. Needs must, my friends. Needs must. Okay, now let's do a bit of calculating. If I go here, takes, takes, takes. Can I go a5? Maybe he goes rook takes then. So I probably need to defend this pawn with something like queen b3. Uh, so let's let's do that. My queen might be useful over there. And I want to just get castled now. So okay, so I'm not worried about anything now. So I want to get my bishop out and then castle. And I've, also, I've, I've fallen for this. I, I'm Bloody hell. This is pretty bad, actually. God, I'm losing so many games in this. Takes, knight takes. 
Um, queen takes bishop a5. So I'm really going to have to look this opening <laughs> up a bit better after this. We'll have a look at my course. Okay, so I, I, why did I go there? I, I meant to take there first. Okay, but I'm going to have to give him one pawn. It's not the end of the world. It's only one pawn, but very slack play by me. My opponent continues to play quickly. And I don't mind giving that bishop, but let's try to create a little bit of weaknesses in my opponent's position first. So maybe tempt him into playing f6. His king might look a little bit funny later on then. And I'm going to have a bit of open lines over on the queen side to do a bit of pressure. Um, but I'm very interested to see what move order I got mixed up there because I think I had to go. I think I should have gone a4 before b4 uh, to avoid what my opponent's done in, in, in this game. Um, but it's not by any means the end of the world. Okay, so he 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 can now. Okay, he keeps he keeps trying to push me back here, but it's not always a good idea to lunge your pawn so far forwards. I mean, okay, I'm gonna. My knight could go over here, but I don't really see where it's going next. I think it's more sensible to bring it towards the centre. Uh, and I've made the board very grey, you may tell, because it feels like you know I'm very red. So it's nice to have a bit of greyness going on. What do you reckon? Or do you want it back to something a bit more colourful? Maybe we'll change it for the next video. Because, you know, it is quite wet outside here. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, it looks a bit grim, basically. Okay, so e5 played. And my opponent clearly trying to take a pawn here. But I think we're going to guard that pawn and get one of our pawns back now. Uh, and this whole plan of pushing your pawns as far as forwards as you can, it's not, I, I, don't, I don't approve of it really. Because you're a safe pawn up and you're just going to make your king a little bit weaker. So now we need to start moving our pieces. That knight's not doing anything. So let's start moving it towards the centre. It has a nice square over here and threatening that pawn. This pawn that has been pushed is now, I think, a bit of a weakness. My pawn on d4 is a little bit weak, but when my knight comes in here, it's not an issue. Uh, now, if I go rook here, I'm going to fall for this trick of bishop c5 again. So um, we have to watch our bishop. So maybe I'm going to get my queen out of the way of any... I've already already fallen for that once, so I don't, I don't want to fall for it again. But am I, am I getting myself in a bit of trouble here? Because the bishop is coming there. Playing this game. Not well. Not well at all. Because I just I just put my bishop in a very... I, I should have just moved it there. Not really thinking here, am I? If the knight comes back, my position is starting to drop. Okay, well, I don't see what else I can play. Slack game from me. And uh, yeah, my opponent's just threatening to take and take here. So here, he's going to take here. I don't really know what I can do here, guys. This is just a very bad game, which does happen. It does indeed happen. Happens too much to me. Okay, it's the only way I can see to try and defend. So I, I'll, I'll give this one a go. But there's probably many good moves here, like bishop takes, knight b4. Uh, I don't know, something's dropping. Okay, so I've got to take this one back with a pawn. And my opponent has played a good move here. And uh, yeah, this, this, this is the end. I mean, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just uh, resign the balls here. I'm so paranoid now. Let's, okay, let's resign this game. Just check the accuracy of my opponent because I don't know maybe maybe you know if this keeps going on I just can't handle playing any more cheats but let's have a look let's have a look how is his accuracy going to be do you think he was cheating or not I mean for fuck's sake excuse my French but what a bastard there's absolutely no way he was not cheating complete scumbag and complete scumbag absolute scumbag another one we found another scumbag uh and let's have a look and have a look at his ratings i mean look at this he's 90 90 percent all the time and um 
He's just a cheat, isn't he? He's just a complete cheat, isn't he? Do you see how cheap I am? I, I, I'm still using the free account. That, that's how that's how cheap I am, guys. I'm so cheap, I'm not even upgrading my account. Okay, well, we'll get this guy banned. And uh, we found another cheat. And uh, this is the way the world is now. So Jim Better curses to you, you scumbag, is all I'm going to say. And... Um, how do we look at his... Let's have a look. Um, I'm going to report him. Let's do that. Uh, da, da, da. Cheating. That was Shadow of Doubt. There we go. And he will be banned very shortly, I'm sure. Okay, well, let's go back and have a look at the game because, you know, even though I lost to clearly a cheat, and you, this is the thing that I'm saying about how, how demoralising is it? Oh, it's your fault because you're a grandma star. Huh? I mean, come on, give me give me your best excuses. Why is it my fault? Come on. Oh, you shouldn't use your name. Try using another name. Oh, yeah, that's good. So you guys have never faced cheats by using another name? Uh, you deserve it. I've had all of them. And uh, no, it's, it's just... Uh, it doesn't get anything from this as well. It's just a sad, pathetic human. And um, it's, I think I've had about four games in a row now. Where this has happened, so it's it is pathetic. But let's try to learn something from the opening before I smash my computer up. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll just have a little look. Oh, I don't like doing it on there. I just want to use. Oh, how do we do that? Oh, I'm so cheap. Um, maybe I can't. I can't. I've got to upgrade to get computer moves. So you have to look at it at home. But I can have a look at this later on. And I'm thinking here. I'll tell you what, I, 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 if you bear with me, obviously you can go now. Do like and subscribe the video if you leave now. But I'm actually going to have a look at my latest chess base. So I've got it on chess base. Chess base is quite easy. I'm going to have a look at the file there so I know uh, what I should be playing here. So I just wish my memory was better now, you know. Don't we all? So where are you? I'm just going to get it now. I think it is here. So bear with me. We're just going to bring up my chess base file. And it will give us the answers. Won't you? You will give me the answers to all my problems. Well, not all my problems. That's a bit too much. And let me just grab... Oh, you're getting a, you're getting a glimpse now of the new Jabava London course when it comes out. Let's just grab that, shall we? And what should we do with a drunken sailor okay so here 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 a4 is correct so you can see that i actually did get it wrong and i did just record this but it was a couple of weeks ago now b4 i've given us not the right move because of what my opponent plays and actually he's a little bit better there but if i play a4 first a6 we now play b4 and if he takes here Ah, I was thinking I have to take the bishop, but I don't. I can take there because of the pin. That's really useful, that is. Okay, good. See, I do actually, you know, I do actually have some knowledge occasionally. All right, well, we'll get that guy banned, and we'll bring out another... Uh, what do you reckon of the board as well? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Leave your comments. Do like, subscribe. Cheers. Bastard of a cheater there. Goodbye for now.